Welcome back to my channel. So this week I thought I would do my uh, skincare routine. So I'm just gonna literally talk through it as I do it today. Like I've already done my skincare this morning and my makeup, but I thought I would start the video actually looking a little bit more presentable because every single video that I start is always when I wake up and I always look like shit. Yeah, I thought I would do the intro after I've done my makeup so that you can see that I can look alive um, and human. And t this evening when I take my makeup off and do like my evening skincare before bed, I will show you um, some extra products that I use once or twice a week um, as like little add-ins here and there. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video um, and if you do, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let's just get on with the skincare. So I'm just going to use, first thing this morning, the La Roche-Posay Everclear Purifying Foaming Gel just to wash my face. So after I have um, washed my face with the uh, La Roche Posay, I tone my face. Um, what's this called? The Astringent Lotion Micro Exfoliant Anti Blackheads. So I literally just pop a little bit of this on um, a cotton pad and take it through um, my T zone. I find that the uh, La Roche Posay products really make my face feel um, like tight, like zero pores. So before I start my makeup, I always moisturise and I use this moisturiser like all of my body, face, the lot because I think that where I can come out in some like quite dry patches, in some areas I do get a little bit of eczema, this literally just clears it up and I feel like, yeah, it just works a treat. And I have started looking, because um, I really want an eye cream to try and help with my um, the under eye darkness and the, the pigmentation. And I found a Dr. Botanicals under eye cream that is meant to help with the um, discoloration and is meant for like, younger skin. Um, so I think I will be investing in that. If you're going to invest in anything between makeup and skincare, I feel like you should invest in the skincare. Skin and whatever, you've got to look after it. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to do my makeup now as normal. And yeah, that's all I kind of do in the morning because I try to keep it simple. So yeah, just going to crack on with my makeup. Before I go on to um, do my lips and obviously my hair, um, I thought I'd just include it because I use this all the time. I feel like lips are something that you've just got oh, it foundation, lovely. Lips are something that you've got to look after as well. Um, and I hate my lips when they used to feel like almost like sandpaper. Um, so I have always sworn by Carmex because I feel like it's just the most hydrating for a long period of time. I have never invested in an expensive one, but they are like ten pound plus and right now just there's no funds for that. So when I can get this, that is like something like one pound fifty. I'm just gonna go for this and I like the fact that it gives off a glossy look because nine times out of ten I mean I'm gonna put a lipstick on now but nine times out of ten when I do like an everyday makeup look I won't wear lipstick I'll just put um Carmex on so it looks almost like a sheer gloss um so yeah I just thought I'd include that because when I started my makeup I did that and I would normally do that as I'm moisturising and stuff and I just completely forgot because it was in my makeup bag um yeah so I'm um, Carmex for me I have just got in from college and I'm going to take my makeup off now. Um, as we can see, a lot of it is worn off anyway. It was actually quite a short day at college. Uh, I would normally come home at 6.30 and literally have nothing on my face. When I get in, the first thing that I would do is literally just take my makeup off. I use what everyone else uses, um, literally the Garnier Micellar Water, which is on its last leg. I use one massive cotton pad and just try to get the majority off with that. I'm just going to cut my... Actually, why is there hair everywhere? Go away. Now I'm going to go have um, a shower and I'm going to use exactly the same face wash that I used this morning. 
I literally swear by the La Roche-Posay products. I think they work really well together and I feel like for whatever type, I'm not sure what my skin type is, but they complement it really well. So the only other thing that might alter at this point is sometimes when I took my makeup off and I've got to this stage, I sometimes use a face mask. So the one that I've got here with me, I think I literally got this from a uh, savers and it's literally just a beauty form formulas clay mask with activated charcoal in it i haven't used enough face masks to be like that works for me or um the first mask i used to use from lush i think it's called like um the green one that is called like magaminty i used to use that one i always like to just take a cotton bud and just get rid of the black under my eyes because it makes them look even darker than they actually are and sometimes, depending on, so like when I do show makeup, like when I've got shows and I'm wearing like full on cake makeup, I will like double, triple cleanse my face. Anyway, so after I've washed my face again, I go back to my La Roche Posay products. So I get another cotton pad and I use the tonic. I feel like this picks up extra makeup. And if I've ever missed my hairline, this always gets there. Next, I go in with the third product in the trio. And this is the Everclad Duo Plus Corrective Unclogging Care Anti-Imperfections, Anti-Marks, Anti-Recurrence. Um, and it's literally just a cream. It's not like a spot cream. I don't put it on my spots. I generally put it through my T-zone. I don't put it all over my face either because I feel like not everywhere is a problem area. So I literally just get a little bit off. Take it mainly on my tees on and then just blend it out from there. And then my face kind of like tingles almost like stings for a little bit, is if it's really like tightening my skin and closing my pores. Um, especially on my nose area, it always like tingles there. And I always find if I wake up in the morning, I feel like I've got a really plastic face. So I would do one of two things before bed. So obviously after I've put this on, I like to give this chance to kind of like settle into my skin um, before I pop anything else on. Most nights I just again go in with Aveeno all over my face, down my neck. Not too much that it makes me feel like I've clamped my pores up again, but you know, enough to feel really moisturised. So I'll either moisturise or I go in with this. I got this in, I have got this in a birch box. So yeah, it is the Dr. Botanicals Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. So I suppose this is another face mask that I have found that works, but it's one of those ones where I wake up in the morning and I'm genuinely, I genuinely tried it like maybe three, four times, and it's literally, again, smells like pomegranates, doesn't smell chemically because I hate chemical smelling products. I don't do it thick, I do it quite thin, then literally just, you sleep with it on your face, wake up in the morning, and then um, when I wash my face in the morning as normal, it takes off whatever excess there is there, and I have always always woke up and found a difference with this so that's my skincare really i'm gonna leave this i'm gonna put that cream on a bit later and that's my skincare done i will try and link all of the products that i've used down below just on the off chance that anyone is interested and wants to look at them and in the video looking like a thumb the sun helps my skin so that's going to be another part of my regime when it gets sunnier to sunburn more so yeah thanks for watching this video as I said earlier, um, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I'll be back next week with another video.